making this and it's uh, it's really a, a pet project uh, something with a lot of passion um, I've been talking to a blind journalist about it and got some uh, some some ideas on how to make this also accessible for people with disabilities uh, which is going to be something that I'm also taking on to make this game available to people who are visually disabled uh, um, hearing is disabled or uh, even have the have problems doing more than one button at the same time so I'm gonna have options to make a game easier um, so they can just play it with, with just one button uh, to be honest um, once I am there I basically think that I could start a Kickstarter campaign for this and um, let him play the demo so um, he gets a feel for if he likes this game um, what he told me is that if he does then most likely a lot of people will want to have that game um, <laughs> you work as a full stack developer you wouldn't dare attempt to design any type of UI at all well UI I haven't touched yet uh, so maybe I suck at UI um, I, I will try I will have to try until I have somebody who will do pixel art for me again um, at the moment I'm at a point where I cannot afford to put more money into it um, that is something that will come later hopefully I hope that if I do a good first level uh, a Kickstarter campaign will bring people to actually want this game um, to get some money out of it uh, to set up a steam page uh, gather wish lists and everything um, yeah and, and basically be able to uh, to hire some people to do some work for me especially since I want to make this um, also able to be played by people who are blind, I will need a lot of things like um, audio and, hey, ICT Studios, welcome. Good to have you on board. Uh, ITC Studios, I, did, I said ICT, right? I'm sorry, ITC. I, I, it's a little small on my laptop screen. I'm working on the big screen, but um, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, where I have hired and found artists before I haven't hired any anyone yet uh, basically what I uh, had so far was um, somebody who also did a game jam so you basically find each other on a discord server and if you can find somebody on a discord server usually that is for free so I don't have to hire someone the only one I ever hired was uh, Nora Blakely she did my logo for Gaia I don't know if you've seen that, but if you follow me on Twitter, you most likely have. Um, if not, then I recommend you follow me also on Twitter. <laughs> I try to uh, tweet uh, a lot. I also um, try to support other game developers who make their games, and many of them, I, I think, are even much more talented than I am. Uh, I just do what I can, but I, I'm, I'm still learning. Um, yeah, that logo is absolutely awesome, um, and I had somebody redesign the logo that I had for Dragon Spirit uh, Games. Uh, Dragon Spirit Games, I, I started after I already had long ago Dragon Spirit Movie Productions. I, I sometimes make short movies, I love it. Um, I write, direct and do that um, uh, if I can. Time has been short, so I haven't done much lately. Uh, but yeah, that Dragon Spirit Movie Productions logo I designed myself, but that was many, many years ago. I am not very into logo design or stuff like that, so I let that go. <laughs> and then I was like, for Dragon Spirit Games, it has to be different. It has to be a different logo. Um, so I'm, um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna let somebody design that. Um, I did that on Fiverr actually and uh, was a great logo that they designed. I'm very happy with it. Um, and of course, uh, <laughs> yeah, I am a programmer, artist and a movie producer, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't feel like I'm an artist at the moment yet. I, I am, I'm doing what I can, but I, I don't consider myself an artist. Um, Everybody can have their own idea of that, but uh, I guess one of, some of these artists that I uh, I see working on, on their pixel art, man, I cannot do that. They they are so freaking fast. If they create pixel art, then this bridge would have been done in less than an hour. I've been already on two streams. This is my third stream about it. So uh, 
I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see the way to do it, but uh, I still don't know the, the near uh, the details about how to work well with a sprite, for example. Uh, a sprite is a very, very powerful program, I can tell, um, and I'm sure I can do much more than I do now. This bridge, of course, has to be closer together, but I don't care if it's not. It's now duplicated and it's on both sides. It doesn't have to be all the way together. That, that I don't care. Uh, I just need to have the separate parts that I can start moving later. Um, and I'm going to have to see about the problem here with this chain. As you can see, this chain is not connected at the moment. It's just hanging in midair. <laughs> I guess uh, that happens. And I will uh, will have to figure out how it's going to connect and have to do again what I <laughs> was already doing the other day because um, I was already um, connecting that with a with a curve, and I had to learn that how to do that because yeah, <laughs> I didn't know how to <laughs> make a a good curved line yesterday and I, I figured it out on the go but I already forgot again so um, but yeah it, it's um, I saw a reference image of that and I was just checking that again I'm checking the reference image more and more times and I'm thinking that they did it wrong um, sure, you're sure I can show the bakery again. Uh, you haven't seen it? Um, give me a second. Don't call me Mr. Dragon, then I will feel very, like, old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about lunch? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm, I'm less, like I'm say, saying, I'm learning everything on the go. And... Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I already created more layers than I normally do. Uh, as you can see, this is now on one layer. <laughs> but um, this bakery, I'm pretty happy with. Um, what I'm not happy with yet is when I imported this into Unity, I could see that this was not what I wanted. I'm making a 2D pixel art platformer, um, and it needs to go like, like more tilted backwards. As you, so these windows that are now in a curve, I, I like the curve, that was something I really enjoyed to do. Uh, but this needs to be more straight, basically, and then hint at there being a curve. Because um, it being in a curve means that it looks like I'm looking at it from the top. And as soon as I imported this into Unity, I saw that I was wrong. It, it's not working. Uh, it needs to be all flat. Uh, can join the chat? Well, you're here, though. You just said so. <laughs> so, yeah, th that is something I need to fix. Um, but as soon as I was working on that, I, I, I loved what I got out of it. And this was something that I really, really wanted. It's going to need a lot of detail still. Um, I, I have plans for this. I, I want on different layers. I want flower pots. I want a tree that goes in front of the sign of the bakery. Um, and stuff like that so this is still going to have ton, tons more details than it does ha does have right now that might be loose sprites though i don't don't i do not know yet if that will be in this file uh but yeah what this was the first time i did something like arched windows and um the lighting effect that i made sure continued in the other windows especially here I think I did very good because it really, really seems to connect. Um, yeah. Yeah, so basically um, what I will have to do, basically the, the dark red, maybe brownish area here on the top will probably have to go or just be the top line, nothing else. Uh, and the rest, the curve will go but it will hint at having a curve. Um, I don't know yet how I explain that, but it's going to have uh, a hint at it. Yeah, <laughs> I also find it a shame. That's why I was uh, thinking like, yeah, okay, cool. I have to change this, but not right now. <laughs> hey, Hef, good to have you back also. Uh, nice to see you. Um, yeah, I was uh, showing uh, people at the moment uh, the bakery as, uh, by request because... Uh, 
uh, yeah, the baked goods inside the window. I was uh, I was really pl- proud of that. That was really a trial and error thing. Um, I tried to make, for example, I don't know if it's feasible for people, uh, but I tried to make a basket here that has some like French bread in there, but different styles of bread. Um, I, I have no clue if that comes across, but this is like a weaved basket here. Uh, that was was a lot of uh, trial and error how that would look. Um, and yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> I'm at the moment at my office because I was supposed to have a hackathon today, uh, but they changed the agenda, and I knew about it, but forgot to put that in my own agenda. And I figured since I'm here anyway, uh, my wife is not counting on me with food. Um, I might as well just continue and do my own uh, stream here. Since nobody is in the office, I have it all for myself. There's, you cannot go better than that, right? <laughs> so uh, that that's uh, usually I will not have that, and usually I will just be at my office, uh, uh, which is in the attic. Not as nice as this, but hey, better than nothing. Hey, uh, Danny, thank you for stopping by, and um, uh, I hope uh, I will see you again another day. And uh, I cannot. Um, promise uh, when I will be back. It's always hard for me. Um, but have a good day and uh, see you soon. Okay, um, as for the rest, I'm going to continue again on my drawbridge. So I'm going to go there uh, for a half. And yesterday you were here. Uh, we was doing the left side. I just figured out how to copy it to the other side. Uh, but I still have a little issue um, with my uh, drawbridge. Uh, change not being complete and uh, the this part also not being complete and i just had a a quick look at it uh, and my reference image that i was looking at basically had that uh that dark gray block here basically that's the other pillar had it on the inside which i think is not correct it can never be because you would never see it on the same side right or am i dumb <laughs> for me that is impossible because if that is the case and I flip it so I flip it to the other side then all my problems are solved but I don't think it's correct maybe somebody else here has a good way of knowing if that's true I can try of course but um, I personally think that it shouldn't be the other way around well, maybe, maybe I should just experiment with that because if I have this one and I say edit flip horizontal, then move that here to this side, then my problems are gone with the chain, but I don't think this looks natural. What do you guys think? I'm not sure. I might leave it for now, so then it's um, actually already done and flipped. But you don't see the problem? <laughs> I'm I'm looking at um, maybe I'm just looking at it uh, too complicated, but I always think when the back pillar of my bridge is um, it's behind, of course, right? Uh, so this is the front pillar, this is the back pillar. That should, in my opinion, but maybe I'm just too into it, should always be on the. On the right side if I start on the right side so um, unless I just basically really see it as this is really from the front front and I see a little bit in that way and then yeah basically I would see it go inside in that case I could have the back pillar be here I'm gonna have to look at another photo because um, just to see if that shows it the same kind of way. 
And let's see. Because I have a front facing picture. And yes, actually it does it does show on the inside. Well in that case my problem is solved. Okay, I was just looking at it too difficult. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to look at it again and then uh, see if that's uh, actually a problem. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, what game, game are you working on anyway, Huff? Uh, I think you may have told me yesterday, but I don't remember. It was two hours of streaming, so <laughs> could be that you told me and I don't remember what you're working on. If you would like to tell me, that is. Is there any way I can follow you? Is that uh, you also stream about it or you just uh, do it on somewhere else? Um, I'd love to also follow you and see you working on uh, something one day. <clears throat> yeah, or uh, unnecessary, uh, necessary make it short breaks or just uh, check uh, again because um, when I was ch checking my reference image before I thought it was wrong um, yeah <laughs> yeah uh, lurk around that's fine uh, I will have fun at, <laughs> at doing this uh, but reference images can sometimes be a little deceiving uh, sometimes it looks like it's wrong and it's not um, but I still will have some tweaks that I want to do to this later for sure, because um, at least now I have my bridge parts. Um, I'm going to probably copy them over in new areas. Because now, for example, the bridge right that I had is no longer a bridge right. I don't use it anymore. But what I have are all things that are copied. So they need to go in their own separate layers. <clears throat> um, Although basically the, the bridge base, that can remain because that will be one thing <coughs> <coughs> that will not move basically, um, that will be static. Uh, now that I have the base of the bridge, of course it has to connect more than that, um, I will in Unity put those areas together, that is, that is all fine, I don't need to do that. For um, for my a sprite file, uh, basically need to extract my layers, and uh, as you guys said, maybe the chains will have to go to separate layers. Um, although they will move all together, so I'm not 100% sure yet how much I need to actually create separate layers. Because basically, uh, the chains on the outside these they will not change. They will go up with the entire bridge, so they will stay basically on the same kind of um, bend. I'm not 100% sure. For that, I need to watch a video of that bridge opening and closing to see if this chain will bend more. If it bends more, I need to animate it. That will be a new challenge because <laughs> I don't animate anything so far. Um, but um, sometimes I think that's a later concern. Uh, these chains will not move basically because they're always connected to the same part, so they stay the same way. Uh, the only change that I see might move are this one and the curved one. Um, and if they move, I don't know how much they move. So yeah, like I said, sometimes you need reference videos of something. And I guess I uh, I will be watching those. For now, I think I will work a little bit more on the detailing. Uh, I think I'm going to completely remove this area here and redo it. It needs shadow for sure. Um, and it needs an angle. But it doesn't need such a steep angle. So those are the kind of things that I <laughs> I'm going to have to change. I think I'm going to put a little bit more detailing, for example, in the in the bricks. Um, 
what I usually try and do is create a little bit more uh, highlighting, uh, sometimes dark lighting, but most of the time more the highlighting to, to have a, a bit of a nice look. So in this case, it would have to be this. And somebody tell me about drawing straight lines. Well, basically, this is also drawing straight lines, but there's a little line tool. Maybe I should try that now. Because that would be... It doesn't work, though. <laughs> I don't know why this doesn't work the way I want it. That, that's probably why I didn't use it. Oh, let's see. I'm currently working on a construction horde survival game that will go into beta at the end of the month. My real game that I've been working on for three years, it's about wolves. I just love wolves. Who doesn't? Wolves are cool. Uh, it's a turn-based combat game where it comes to topics such as faith, hope, fraud, betrayal, and the question of whether the decision you make was the right one, because not every good decision has a happy ending. But overall, it's a very dark game. Yeah, I, I like... Uh, dark games so don't worry about that yeah I hold shift yeah you, you told me that yesterday and then what it doesn't <laughs> I mean uh, but then oh okay I hold shift and then draw it down well basically it's the same as what I'm doing um, okay so basically what you say is shift and then draw it down okay uh, what what I was doing with the other tool kind of works the same but what I do there is I put one dot there and then uh, hold shift and press where I want it to go and then let go and it's also a straight line so I guess both of these tools do more or less the same thing so yeah it's uh, it, it takes me to getting used to again because now now I have to uh, um, hold it and I was not used to that anymore so yeah okay the, the good thing about that is that once you go, it will stay straight, uh, which is nice because I'm working with a mouse and not with a drawing tablet yet. Um, the, yeah, <laughs> you can tell I'm still used to the other tool, so I, I'm clicking and then letting go and then pressing shift, but that doesn't work. So I have to do it differently. Okay, well, I can get used to that, I guess. So nice to learn new tricks. Wait, weren't you playing a game with your kid though? Said you were not be able to talk. Not that I'm complaining, by the way, mind you. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. I mean, it's always nice to have anyone uh, in the chat. I, I really enjoy um, talking to people while I do this. Uh, I was explaining that to one of my colleagues today. It feels really like I'm rubber duckying to other people. Because if I'm talking in chat, it means I'm explaining not only to you guys, but also to myself why I'm doing things. Yeah, I, I, I think I know, you know, but I don't have a really clear image in my mind of what that game was anyway uh, it's always nice to be able to play a game with your daughter uh, I hope one day I can do the same with mine preferably this one that would be awesome and uh, she will have to be probably a little bit bigger than uh, than five years old because there's gonna be also a little bit of <laughs> violence in it I cannot uh, consciously let a five-year-old uh, uh, play a game like that. See, it's good that I did it because I f totally forgot to put the bottom lines here. <clears throat> it's actually starting to look a little bit like a wall here. Oh. And that is not nice, you know. I said a straight line, not one that has a move in it. <clears throat> I'm going to, after this, uh, have to take the left parts and move them to the right parts, basically, so they are separate layers. Um, obviously, uh, when I import this directly into Unity, it will become a mess, because... Um, 
I looked at it already, but it just becomes one big sprite, and that's not what I want. Uh, what I actually want is to have um, separate layers that I can use in the game, um, separate layers that I can move individual. So, like I said, the, um, there's parts that are going to be um, remaining uh, solid, they will stay in one place. And there's places, uh, parts that are moving. Now, the, the inside part has to move. The rest doesn't have to move. Uh, but for that to happen, I need them to be able to move individually. And that was something that I was hoping if I used the HBrite importer in Unity, I would be able to use all the different layers as different layers. But unfortunately, it just sees it as one sprite. Uh, it was a little bit of a setback. I was hoping that it would be automatically but no. So I guess I'm going to have to export them as separate sprites. Of course on Discord. Discord name is Half Moon. Okay. I will add you to uh, to Discord uh, and uh, Half Moon. Because uh, I always enjoy uh, following others. And um, be sure then when I uh, when I add you to uh, also every now and then please send me a message and update me on how your uh, how your project is going. I would love to see it. Um, on Twitter I'm pretty active and I do all the things like uh, follow Friday and uh, uh, Tuesday uh, trailer uh, trailer Tuesday uh, wishlist Wednesday. Uh, even though I cannot wishlist my own game yet, um, I basically. Uh, yeah, I want everybody to have their helps because uh, there's nothing more frustrating than uh, just being swimming around in your on your own and nobody uh, nobody following your game. So I just added you on Discord, so uh, I will be glad to hear from you and uh, see how your project is evolving. <coughs> so yeah. My, uh, my wife, by the way, was laughing her ass off when I said I was compared to Bob Ross, but also to Gandalf. <laughs> she said, never in my life would I have expected that my husband would be seen as a happy little tree guy. <laughs> I will never be late, nor am I early. I always arrive exactly when I mean to. And if I should say it correctly, I should say precisely when I mean to. I keep doing that wrong when I uh, say that quote from Gandalf. But I really do love the character Gandalf, so for me it's also just like the Bob Ross comment, it's a huge compliment. I enjoy both of those very much. Uh, I think Bob Ross was an icon in painting. He is one of the greatest painters that I ever saw on TV, not because of his super great artwork, but um, even though they are really good, uh, but because of the way he encouraged people and enthusiast, uh, made people enthusiastic about creating art and he make it look so freaking easy and and when you make it look so easy people want to do it you know um, and that that is something I will always always respect uh, and I've grown up with watching uh, Bob Ross so anyone who says that I uh, resemble that guy you're my hero <laughs> Ah, uh, okie dokie. That part is already better. Looks so funny when you zoom out, it's suddenly like those lines are, are bigger. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but for me, it, 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 when it, it looks like they're double or something, it's not true, but <laughs> must be a visual glitch. Um, I'm starting get, to get happy with what I'm creating right now. I wonder how far I have to take that. Um, 
Um, most of these things are good. Now I think I'm going to just create the layers and separate the, the different parts into the right side also in layers. Still wondering about the change. If I have to go with those chains to separate layers, that means a lot of copying. But it will give flexibility. Then again, I also might want to create the chains in Unity instead of here. Still not sure about that. Creating the chains in Unity will give me a little bit of flexibility because then it will move automatically when the distance becomes shorter. But yeah, like I said, I think I want to have a reference video first to see how this bridge opens and what the chains do when I open the bridge. Because um, basically it doesn't compute in my brain how that will go yet. I think those chains might move. I'm not sure. <clears throat> it's been a while since I saw that bridge. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, okay. Thank you for that image of the of the game. Uh, unexpected. That is very nice. Now, now at least I know what Uno was again. Yeah, I, I've no, I've I've seen it before in a card game. Um, never played it myself, but I've seen it. So, um, thank you for that. <clears throat> so, now that I have my layer set up and I have my bridge basically set up mm, have to put them together it's going to be quite some figuring out how to actually do the movement with all the separate parts in unity but i'm sure i can figure it out um, considering the fact that those pillars will not move but only the top and the bottom part moves <coughs> it don't it almost cannot be different than that those chains will move they will curve so if that is the case i might have to do all of that in unity That is going to be a lot of learning again. Well, anyway, I'm learning everything as I go. So, um, Like you guys know, I'm a programmer, but being a programmer doesn't mean you know how to program Unity. And there's a lot of things that I have to figure out there as well every single time. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, where was my... Oh, yeah, I saw that Discord... And in Discord, I have that picture. So I want to also have a little bit of a feeling of how that bridge edge actually will look. Um, meaning um, the colors, how they look, if they're going to be clean or more dirty and that kind of stuff. Um, might seem a bit weird to, of a thing to say, but I have that image and when I look at that image because basically there's never a time that the bridges in Amsterdam at least in my opinion look completely clean <laughs> um, there's also dirt on that there's dirt on the bridge there's dirt on the pillars that are there um, if they're clean, it has just recently been cleaned, and yeah, um, I don't think that happens often. Um, but seeing this work, I still need to have like some wooden pillars around the base of the bridge, because most of the time, especially around the opening, there's like wooden pillars around the entrance and also there's a lot of dark area around the base basically around here 
So that is something that I will have to work on. Um, some pillars could be here, and then a line of it would go here, but that line would usually not be very visible because it gets really dark underneath the bridge. Uh, same goes for this. So this is very optimistic to have it this light. Um, this will definitely have to go uh, and change to like uh, I already said before it's going to be more straight more to the, the directly to the back um, basically yeah just like you have here the pillar here is on a certain depth and the other one is uh, more in the front so it will have to look more or less the same that's going to be some changes that I have to do mm. So yeah, but I'm first going to make the layers because otherwise I can keep going forever and then still have nothing separate. Because yeah, the, the right side has to be separate from the left side. So layer, new layer, there you go. This is going to be the base part for the right, so it's going to be bridge right. And uh, that basically means that um, bridge left is everything, right? So that means one bridge left. Oh, 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 again, my wrong tool. Sorry, guys. I keep doing that. It's not on purpose. I promise. Or basically, I should do Control X, yeah, and then Control V, and there you go. Now it is in its separate layer. <coughs> so then the left behind part should be also copied. Uh, for that, I need to also have a new layer and Shift B. I should remember Shift B, bridge right behind I also can basically do control C control X control V there you go now it's in a separate layer again and then the moving part here I should do also new new layer shift B bridge right moving mm, and then here control C control X control V there we go so now I've put everything in their own separate layers so that should be uh, again what I want <coughs> Okay, sorry, I had to answer somebody from work that also has to happen sometimes. Because, um, yeah, nobody knew I was going to be streaming today, right? <laughs> well, and I'm, I'm sure also some of you guys will know this. Um, there, there's got to have to be a way to uh, select multiple layers here at once and move them like they're one. But I tried that before and I couldn't figure it out. It, I thought it was just control click, but that didn't work. So there's got to be a different way to do that. Because uh, I would like to, for example, have the right parts, click them together, select them all together and move everything all at once. I would be able to do that in Photoshop, but for some reason I don't think it works here. Um, I bet there's a way to do it. I just don't know. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our separate layers, I guess it's... Um, it's a good thing to start to work on uh, on detailing 
and with that I think I should start with making the pillars for the left side and then do the same on the right side a little different because they um, in rea real life also don't look exactly the same um, there's a little difference between that the base is the same but it doesn't look the same on the right as it does on the left so um, for it to look realistic I want it to be different on left than it is on right the new guy okay we'll have to answer that guy <laughs> but later it's uh it's starting to really be cool on Twitter. I've, I've gotten a lot of followers lately and um, we're going towards the 700s right now. Uh, I'm really proud of that because basically I'm still in prototyping phase and uh, creating artwork because there was none. Um, so it's always nice to see that people still want to follow you even though you haven't really shown them much. I showed them a character, I showed them an enemy, I showed them some prototyping level. Um, and beyond that, I haven't had anything to show. But I think people are liking my game idea, and that is, of course, the reason that they, they follow you. So I'm going to keep working on creating a better and better idea, a better level. Uh, I've written a script already for what my first level should look like. Um, have keeping in mind that I want to do this uh, with accessibility options so for the blind people for the deaf people for people who have uh, trouble pressing multiple buttons stuff like that um, and if I have that level done then I will feel a lot better um, then I will feel like it's time to look at creating the Kickstarter campaigns starting to make the game known on Steam, asking for wish lists and stuff like that. Um, I was following the, the course by Thomas Brush, full-time game dev, and for me that's basically unrealistic. I am a full-time dad, full-time employee, and a full-time partner, so working full-time on a game would be a very cool thing, except for the fact that everything depends on me for money. So. I cannot just say I quit my job and I will go full-time game dev unless I know there's money to be made and I'm nowhere near that phase yet for that I need to know for sure that I can make this game and making the first level will be an indication of what I can do uh, knowing that I could make uh, the artwork for my own game myself would help so I'm not depending on people uh, I do hope that if I can create a Kickstarter campaign, I can hire artists to make better artwork than I can make, uh, or at least faster than I can do it. And um, from there we can look further. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably first pretend that I have different voice actors and just do it myself. Uh, voice over the entire thing. Um, even doing the voice of my dog daughter probably um, <laughs> which is going to sound really stupid but um, if it's just for a demo I can maybe get away with it um, although I don't think I can sound like my daughter she's way too cute and I sound like a very deep voice um, so that's nowhere near my daughter and sometimes with my daughter I play these games where she will say that uh, she's she's a certain character and um, she's playing with something and it suddenly has a voice and I do the voice but how she even believes that it's coming from whatever she's holding I will never understand but she's totally convinced that some, that thing is talking to her and it's it's amazing to see that but no my voice is not that good that I can do so much trickery with it though that I could fool anyone into believing I'm a four-year-old girl. <laughs> that, that will not work. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, unexpected, of course your girl won. <laughs> Kids always win.
So um, from looking at my reference photo, yeah, there's pillars here and the pillars have like a white top. I have to look at a better picture than that. Okay, so they have different colors, different styles. And the inside of the bridge has also got a railing, but that is made out of lighter wood. Hmm. Because we haven't even talked about that part yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to merge layers. I was trying to move them together, not to merge them. Because if I merge them, then I cannot use them separate anymore. Um, I, I know how to merge them. I, I've already um, figured out that. But I guess with holding shift, I might be also to, able to, to select multiple layers and then move it. But I thought it was control for some reason because I usually use control to select multiple things and shift to use everything that's underneath each other but it's probably just a, a UI thing that I am uh, I'm not uh, familiar y with yet in um, in a sprite <coughs> so thank you for the tips again though by the way you are uh, you're always helpful so Basically, this will have pillars and they will come from the water, so they will be even higher than the bridge itself, I would say. Um, but you will not see it, of course, because the rest is underwater. So, hmm, what color shall I make them? They will not be clean because those things are in water all the time, so they will be multiple colors, I would say. They will have a little bit greenish from the algae yeah. doesn't have to be perfect of course but it's hard that I'm a perfectionist sometimes because for me it has to be perfect okay so because I don't want to touch some things I will walk those for now um, I shouldn't touch those either, so we'll lock that. I cannot draw on that. At least I think that that means that. Right? Yeah, read only, you cannot write on it. Cool. So I'll start with the left one. And basically, I will create a pillar here. I guess that would be what kind of color would that be? It's hard to see. Base color would be like a grayish green to have some darker colors on top of it. Yeah, I think that would be it. This could be, and then a little darker than that. Yes, that has got a, too much brown. This would be, this could be a good color. <clears throat> Yeah, shift left click and then move them together. Yeah, I, w I was looking for that. I couldn't figure it out at that time. So I basically just did them one by one. Doesn't matter though, because in the end it got the same result. Um, would have been faster, but then again, you guys have less to watch. So maybe it's a win-win situation, right? The, the more time I take to do this properly, the, the more time you have to watch me. <laughs> so I'm just going to hope that that is a good thing <laughs> let's see we'll create a pillar here and then fill, fill it up with G that was a good call, good thing I just figured out that if I press F I fill it up without having to press G that that is nice I didn't even know that I could do that. <laughs> oh man, I'm so uh, so still a newbie in this stuff. Um, so 
So we just uh, create this a little higher. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to move that shit. So this was F. See, that, that fills it up. Learned something new today. <coughs> but I want to take the bottom off because this is too high. There we go. Boom. Uh, but the top one, top part, I want it to be like almost white. This is not white. It is white, sort of. It is white. Sometimes things don't look white that actually are white. That's uh, that's the funny thing about pixel art. I don't know, but always when I see my um, my uh, my palette. I get confused because this is white but for me it looks like blue I don't know if that's just me but because it's next to a bluish color it looks like a very light blue for me and it confuses the heck out of me I always think it's not blue but <laughs> it's not white but it it is white it's really weird <laughs> anyway I'm sure other people might have the same kind of issues every now and then. So I'll fill that up with this. And then do more or less the same on this side. Fill that up with that. Let me see if I zoom out how that looks. Obviously it looks still very much like um, <laughs> like a very clean block it does look blue right it doesn't look white it's uh, it's a trickery of the mind I guess because colors can be deceiving anyway so this will have to have a lot of detailing look darker in some places and shadows I'm gonna work first on making that a shadow for this. Let's say that. Well, I'm doing it again. Sorry. I know you like your like like the line tool better, but I keep going for this. I don't know what it is. Does that look good? No, I don't think that looks good at all. needs to be more like that I guess that looks a bit better yeah it, it is uh, the hex uh, thing that, that basically throws me off but yeah when you see the, the dot here all the way in the top corner should be a clear indication that of course this is white but I thought maybe it was just like a one pixel out of the corner but it's not <laughs> um, anyway uh, where was I getting confused I guess uh, I'm suffering from what I just saw Letterborn have in her stream uh, my mind is turning to mush I've started working to this morning at uh, 6 50 in the morning I was the first in the office and I'm now clearly also the last in the office because there's nobody here I do really love my uh, my setting here because it um, it is much nicer and I have at least room uh, instead of having an attic where if I stand up I bump my head um, the only thing that was not so nice today is that my audio was not working my headset completely failed me I uh, didn't recognize the, the microphone in there so I had to do it in this way and that means that you can hear my clickety click and all the the typing that I do but yeah it's a trade-off <laughs> it's either that or I am not streaming so um, I prefer still to be streaming uh, I'm gonna make darker spots here don't know how yet, but 
do it a little bigger and then just uh, start drawing here a bit I guess that made me sound a little bit like Bob Ross, right? <laughs> Make a happy little stain here. Uh, I, w I would love to not forget to eat, but um, there's no food here except for maybe an apple or a, a mandarin. So I'm, I'm going to have to do with just drinking, and I'm okay. Um, I had pizza at lunch, and that was very nice. Because uh, right across from where I'm sitting, cannot see of course but there's a, a restaurant that is independent for this area it's uh, for all the offices that are here and they have the greatest of lunch they have salads they have pizza sometimes they have croquettes which only Dutch people know so if you're not Dutch I'm sorry and you, if you don't understand what I'm talking about but it's like uh, very 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 nice uh, things that they have uh, they have the, those kind of bread with all sorts of stuff on it so I, I basically could have gone ape at lunch but I didn't I just had a pizza and one croquette and that was good enough I was happy with that anyway um, should keep going with this because uh, I probably will have uh, like a million iterations before this uh, this looks like what I want but um, At least I will have some variation. I will have different colors everywhere. Uh, maybe some highlights also, some lighter color. Because I don't think I would ever see one of those pillars without algae on it. Uh, they're already, they're wood of course, but the wood never looks like wood anymore. Oops, that went outside of my line. I don't want that. I realize I could maybe first also draw a marquee around this and then just draw inside the marquee. That might be easier so I cannot get outside of the box, but I'm stubborn. I don't think it looks great, but oh well. I hope it will. Yeah, detailing takes time, so I'm not too worried if it doesn't look great immediately. Um, smaller brush. <clears throat> and yes, yummy croquette. Mm -hmm. My my daughter has a has a craving many times for bitter bola, which is like mini round croquettes. If you know croquette but you don't know bitter bola, bitter bola is if you come to the Netherlands and you haven't tried bitter bola, you're missing out. Just be very careful because those things are hot as fuck inside. It really will burn your mouth if you don't know what you're what what you're dealing with. The, it's it's the the hottest thing maybe on the planet. It's um, at least if they're done good, because yeah, of course if they're not done good, they're a little cold maybe, but they should be hot. If you don't burn your mouth, they didn't make them uh, hot enough. And I don't mean spicy hot. It's just hot. Uh, this must be very clickety click because I'm, I'm doing that on the fly and it's <coughs> directly at my laptop speaker so that should be um, I'm sorry but a little bit too loud but I cannot really help it <coughs> I still need more. actually when I zoom out it's not that horrible but it does need something. <laughs> Blister alert, yeah, in your tongue. 
if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, you just take a bite out of those bitter bolo or you just put it in your mouth altogether, because I've seen people do that, you're not going to like yourself much. And you probably will need water. <laughs> But then again, it's one of the best snacks that we have in the Netherlands, I would say. But the same goes for a croquette, because um, even though it's bigger, it's also as hot inside as a bitter bowl is, just longer. So a bitter bowl is like this big, basically, not much bigger than that. And a croquette is this long. And inside is the same stuff. And uh, you really owe it to yourself if you come to the Netherlands to try those things. And I think uh, Unexpected can uh, can agree with that. <laughs> no, never in one go. Just take a small bite. And the best thing is to do it with mustard. So that is... Um, it's not a necessity, but makes it even better. I guess nothing is a necessity, but things just get better with it. So... Um, I'm starting to really like this. Not convinced yet about the look of the moss on it. I guess I will probably change that a couple of times. But at least it has some detail. And on the inside of this wall will also be those kind of details. <clears throat> but those are going to be hung. Uh, <laughs> I've almost said hungry. Those are going to be darker. <laughs> and yes, now I'm also hungry. I, I, we shouldn't be talking about food here on this channel. It's not a food channel. This is a game dev channel. So sorry for the guys who maybe uh, guys or gals just uh, who just uh, tuned in and thought about the fact that this was a game dev channel and thought but this is all about food no it's not we just happened to talk about food i don't know why we even got to that oh yeah because you said i should not forget to eat that's why <laughs> you get so distracted when you do stuff like that that's uh but it, yeah it, it's part of life <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay it's okay don't worry about it it's uh it's bringing life to the to the stream and that's always good um what else of course it will be the water line this water line will be reflecting stuff there will be also a water line behind that there will also be reflecting stuff that behind that there happy little bitter ball yes happy little bitter ball god i could use a portion of that right now oh you did this now i want bitter ball oh my god i'm gonna have to order those or even make them in the oven myself when i get home but I will be super late to have bitter ball because before I'm home it's like nine or ten, depending on when I start to stop streaming and go home. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you not uh, make sure that I get a portion of bitter ball in here in Leusden? <laughs> anyway. Happy little bitter ball and happy little trees. If you're zoomed in, it looks like crap, no? The, <laughs> the moss on the on this thing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I'm uh, I'm hungry now. <clears throat> I guess you're the only one still active here. The rest must be lurking, because uh, I know Danny was lurking, How About Lunch is lurking, and ITC Studios is also lurking, as far as I know. I don't know if anybody else is watching at the moment. Uh, I see five viewers, so that, that could be that everybody else is 
inactive and just there doesn't matter it's it's nice that there's people here and that they will uh, have seen the stream or hear the stream i don't don't know if they're actively still listening to me um, but i'm starting to think that i'm going to work a little bit on the the coloring the darkness of the the pillars here because yeah um, without that it's going to be too much bright um, I look at my reference of this bridge again. Then, yeah, especially at around the base of the moving part, it should be dark. Don't know why that's dark though. That's super hard to see. But it is dark. Ah, hi, you're still here, Held. I thought you were also lurking, but you're here. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I'm at the moment a little bit uh, contemplating what I need to do with the coloring and uh, those poles that you see. Uh, there's going to be poles going also to the inside of the bridge, like um, I have to go to Ace Pride. This part here. So that will basically fill up the scene there um, creating more or less the feeling of depth so this should go a little lower as we go but above that it's dark it's dark because of course above that is the bridge and the bridge makes the area on the wall there dark but I'm not sure how much I needed to go dark. <clears throat> and what I don't understand in, in the photo, because I'm actually looking at the photo, is why the base of the bridge is also dark. Because there's nothing there to make it dark. <laughs> it's confusing. if I look closely at this photo, then it's not completely in sync, really. So it should be that my left side has the bar that you see. Um, I have to go back to it. this bar, but on the right side, this is on the back part. Now, I guess some artistic freedom is okay. So for me, it's on the front, and it I will just make it like on both sides you have an arm like that. I guess I can get away with that. I guess. So that is not like a chain, but more like a, a solid arm. It's thicker also, so I might have to thicken that line. But the rest are actually changed. What I also am seeing, and I might have to work on that, no, I didn't say change file, is that here it's actually two lines, but that make it maybe also too complicated. So it's two bars. So I should have not just one white bar, but two white bars. And also the other side. And in the middle here on the end, it should be like a block. But that is if I'm going to make it exactly like the photo. And am I? Should I? I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Mm. I'm liking where it's at right now. 
it's not 100% done yet of course um, those little brownish greenish blocks that are here also need to be looking a little better I think I might have to make them lower also they for some reason feel too high and not wide enough but yeah might not have to at least they need shadowing because basically this is too um, this is like uninspired uh, just a square <laughs> cannot just uh, have only a square right has to have some detailing in it if you want your pixel art to come alive it needs to have detailing so I will create like a not this color of course but a darker top and underneath a, sh um, a highlight line and do the same on the left side <clears throat> maybe even create a highlight line still on the inside here also to make it look like something uh, of a box or something I, I am not exactly sure yet how it will look <clears throat> anyway has to be darker than it is here so, boom, there we go uh, oh yeah it was that tool was why doesn't it say the shortcut key L okay that was simple <clears throat> Sorry for the quiet, I was just suddenly not talking, and usually I'm talking a lot, maybe even too much. That looks already a little better. I think the outline will go also on this side, the dark outline. Um, not entirely convinced I will put the light line also all the way. I might. Yeah, I will. Just to have it look a little bit more solid. Looks okay. Not the greatest. But hey, iterations, iterations, changing things on the go is uh, the way to go, right? I at least like to to iterate through things and try it again and again, see what works um, and what doesn't work also. A lot of it, what I try, doesn't work and then I have to change it again. You don't want to know how many iterations it took for me to get those breads correct. That was really hard. I was just trying, 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 trying. Okay, this looks okay. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, this is nice. This is, needs more white. This needs more other color. Uh, you don't want to know. I changed so many times. But in the end, I think they look pretty good. And actually feels like we have bread in the window. Okay, so that looks more or less the same. I'll have to have the pillars also on the right side. I can copy those, that's not so hard. Uh, happy little bitter ball, I still... <laughs> I still have bitterballen in my brain now. <laughs> I cannot stop thinking about bitterballen. Um, people who don't know those things must be thinking, what the heck is he on about? But 
It's really so nice to have bitter boba. a pixel <clears throat> with the mouse this stuff is sometimes so incredibly hard to aim correct and I have a pretty sensitive mouse so I'm even better than some people have it <clears throat> but half of the time I'm just aiming next to it and then I curse myself Uh, how did I get up with my uh, uh, come up with my game idea? That's a very good question. Um, basically, um, I've been thinking about making a game for years. I just never got around to it. Um, and also, I love in hobby way to make movies. And a friend of mine made a movie that was called Gaia for a forty-eight hour film project. Um, I just wanted a different vision of the of the idea of Gaia. Of course, it was also about environmental problems and stuff like that. Um, and when our little girl was in the making, we didn't know yet what the name would be. Uh, the only thing I knew is that I wanted something like ending on Aya or something like Ya or something like that. Um, we had several names in the in the list like Arya and uh, and stuff like that from Game of Thrones, and in the end, my wife sent me a message that Gaia and her were waiting for me at home. So it's like okay, so finally the name is decided. It was my favorite one. Uh, I'm I'm a, a great lover of Greek mythology. I always have been, and I don't think it will ever change. Um, so. Yeah, that, that name was already a given. And then when my daughter um, yeah, came to us and basically showed her how she was and uh, showed us how she was, uh, what kind of personality she had, um, how she dealt with nature, I was like, yeah, I picked a perfect name for her. She's great with animals, great with nature, and she loves all that stuff. Um, and then when I was thinking again of doing game development, because basically I didn't get to program at my uh, assignment at work, I figured immediately I, I wanted to make a game about her and about Greek mythology, because, yeah, that's where her name originates. Uh, when she was born also, we wanted to make a trip to Greece to follow the origin of her name. We never got around to it yet. We will one day when she's older and understands what it means. Um, but yeah, the, the idea came basically from that. And after that, I started thinking, what do I want to do with the game? So I basically knew that I wanted to do Greek mythology. I also knew that it wanted to be about my daughter, that she needed to be the main protagonist in the game. And then I started figuring out how do I also involve the issues with the environment, the pollution and stuff like that into it without making it too corny. I didn't want to make it corny. I don't like that. So I figured I'd make the gods the perpetrators, and the gods are like our leaders on, of the earth at the moment. Um, our, our leaders are making a mess. Everybody knows it. We should do a lot more to clean up the earth. Uh, and still, many countries are protesting or just basically not doing it. Uh, our world leaders, if you ask me, should stand up and actually start doing stuff. And what I figured I could uh, do, because I know also from Greek mythology that there were, in those Greek mythology stories, a lot of moments where the gods did something that angered Gaia, the goddess Gaia. But the goddess herself is not allowed to take action against other gods. Um, they came 
basically all from her. She's the mother of all gods, the mother of the earth. Um, and um, she married other gods and got together and created more gods and titans and all those things. Um, so they're not allowed to fight each other. So I figured I would make a game where she basically summons my daughter Gaia using a portal that will also be in this first level in Amsterdam that will just come out of the, the ground. Uh, I don't know yet how I will make that. Still need to learn that also. Um, and from there, she will step into the world of Greek mythology, uh, have different levels where she fights different of the go different gods, helped in a way by Gaia, who will show her the way to fight them. So she will uh, make sure that she gets to a point where she can find, I don't know, the lightning of, uh, of Zeus to fight other enemies with. Or she needs to first face Zeus, beat Zeus, and get his lightning bolt. Stuff like that. Um, those things are still open for debate. I have some story ideas already for the different levels. Uh, you're going to have a level with Dionysus, the god of wine and parties, basically. Um, so everything there will be wine-related. You'll see grapes hanging. You will have parties. But the worlds will always have slight pollution things in there. And every time she beats one of the gods, the world, that part of the world, will start to clean up again. And that's how I have the story in my mind. And at the end, Gaia will actually receive my daughter Gaia and uh, thank her for all her work and send her back to the normal world. Well, she will be reunited with Papa and her, her, uh, her brother, and of course also her mother, but in the story she's not uh, in the picture because we're walking together and uh, she's walking too far ahead. So, yeah, you could say it's Zelda-like. It has definitely got influences from those kind of games. Um, but I hope at least I make something original, something relevant. And um, I, I really like the idea that I created. And I'm totally standing behind what I'm going to make. And I think it can become a really cool game. Um, don't want it to be too difficult. It's not going to be like the precision platformers that you see like Celeste or, um, I don't know, um, Hollow Knight or stuff like that, which are all great games. I would play them in an instant every, every single time, but I want my game to have more story. It's very personal. It's my thoughts of the world. It's my thought of my daughter. Uh, all of that combined um, with having the opportunity for everyone to play it so blind people uh, every everything like that all together hopefully that will create a game that people will want to play uh, people understand the message and hopefully create a little bit of relevance that's it <laughs> uh, I, I still don't know if i'm the perfect person to do it i will do my best uh, and uh, yeah, learn on the go as I'm doing right now. Because uh, that's all I can do, right? Learn on the go. Uh, this is a bit too close, so I'm going to have to move those things a little. That means an opening, I know. I don't care, I will fix that right now by putting. Hello. There we go. Fixed. Thank you. I, I really think it's a it's a cool idea myself. Um, I think this really can uh, can become absolutely cool. And I, yes, I will play test it in into oblivion until I probably don't even like my game myself. Uh, the first level is going to be the most important for me. Um, I will have that at least play tested by the blind journalist that gave me the tip to make it available for people with disabilities. He's a, a game journalist, but blind. So if he likes the level, if he thinks it's nice and playable, then I'm pretty sure other people with disabilities will also like it. And then I will have it play tested by probably uh, a few other people who normally also play games. Because, um, yeah, whatever I like doesn't mean that other people like it. I don't want it to be boring, so 
and it should play like a nice adventure it should play with a nice story um, I have the script written for the first level so uh, everything should be voiced over and um, subtitled uh, with options to change to simpler controls if you cannot press many buttons so it's a lot of work and I'm pretty sure that that demo will be hard pressed to get finished this year but I will give it my all to make it happen every vacation that I get kind of cuts into my development time so I always feel bad going on vacation but I know I need them too so um, yeah I, I, next week I'm on vacation feels nice but also I would love to keep going you know <laughs> uh, if I'm gonna be there on vacation I'm probably gonna think oh if only I could now spend an hour or two and just do more I could have the demo ready sooner and but yeah still so much to do um, this is uh, one of the important elements that I need to have in my game the drawbridge is basically the um, the way of people to learn the game to learn to jump in the game not that it's so hard and I mean everybody will know how to jump but it's kind of obligatory to have a little bit of an introduction level that uh, that shows you the controls but also for people to get familiar with the character, uh, to know Gaia, to know me, because I'm going to be a character in the game that you will not see. You will just hear, hear me in the game. Um, same as my little boy, <laughs> my little boy Luca, you will also hear him in the game, but not see him. Um, so from there, I hope to create something that, uh, yeah, that that will be enjoyable and um, then I can start thinking about creating the Greek levels with a lot of detail um, I got one of the one Greek guy already contacted me on discord after he saw a post of mine in another server there asking me to make sure that if the Greek levels come that they're at least going to be Greek food and drinks in it because otherwise his uh, his mom would be very unhappy <laughs> about, about the levels of Greece that so I said, I, I will be sure to consult you once uh, I start those levels because um, it's going to be already a ton of work uh, creating all those different mythological creatures because there is some reference images of some of them, like Zeus, for example, you, you can easily find that. But yeah, if you go to Hephaestus, for example, the uh, uh, smithy of, the ga of, of, of Greece, basically, yeah, I can hardly find an image of him. So I'm going to have to image him in my mind and create a character out of that it's it's going to be yeah it gives you freedom of course uh, no no bitter ball in English so I, I might find a way to incorporate them in the Amsterdam level though <laughs> who knows maybe there's a terrace where she passes by and there's people eating bitter ball <laughs> I almost have to now I almost have to I mean, if, if I would have subscriptions and people being able to pay for uh, for bits or whatever, I might uh, have to incorporate that people can request a feature in the game for in one of the levels. And like one of the features should be Bitterballer. <laughs> so then I have to create pixel art Bitterballer. Would be funny. Anyway, that's all uh, fun and games there, but... Uh, I don't know if you could even see them. <laughs> anyway, that would be super awesome. Uh, <laughs> now I kind of want to put them in the game, but they would be so small you cannot see them. <laughs> They're going to be one pixel big. <laughs> How am I going to be able to see that that's a bitter ball? <laughs> maybe what i could do is have them sitting on a terrace people and they're eating something but you cannot see what it is and my daughter just says that they're eating with their ball that i could do that would fit into the script that would fit into what she likes and it's adding to the personality of my daughter in the game that that could definitely be that could definitely be because she's a bitter ball of fanatic really a when we have french fries we don't have them very often but it happens and when she has them she needs the entire portion for herself i basically buy french fries a portion of bitter bola that she will eat all alone 
um, some snacks for me and some snacks for my wife. And my son just eats the French fries and every once in a while, maybe one or two bitter bollen that, uh, that we order. So I've been already going to two portions of bitter bollen because she needs them. Yeah, I'm going to make sure now that you also want bitter bollen for the rest of the day. So uh, you did this to me, so now you will want them too. <coughs> I'm having too much fun <laughs> and having fun doesn't help me with the productivity, I guess. Um, I'm noticing something. I don't know if you guys also notice it. I forgot highlight lines on the left wall. There's an entire row that's missing them. You should do the correct color though. Like they say, the devil's in the devil's in the detail. And in the bitter bottle. God, those things are good. <laughs> <clears throat> so, basically the base of my bridge is there. And the thing that I need to change most now is the opening. And then, of course, the dark parts underneath the bridge. So I would have some of these kind of pillars going this way, going less high every time. And not too much. I don't want to have too many of them. And then some darkness where the wall is. Which shouldn't be totally black because then it doesn't look nice. Okay. Mm. But those pillars are also going to be darker because you basically cannot see everything. Um. And of course, make it smaller. Take off that yellow part here. Let me see this. Uh, the bottom of those will be all dark. Okay. You should see like two, maybe three of those. Not more than that. And it's actually not going to look like pillars really, but connected more or less. That's not good. Why do I do that? Should do this one. Um,
That doesn't look nice. Hmm. I'm going to do this a little different. Oh, this is going to have to be darker anyway. Is there a way to select a part and make it a little darker? Oh, thank you for joining me today, Half, and um, thank you very much. Uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure to have you. I uh, really do hope you catch me on the next stream again. Uh, <laughs> and I will see you, and never late, but always early, always at the same time. <clears throat> What I'm working on, I'm still working on the bridge and I'm trying to create some more detailing. It's been flipped, um, creating pillars here now. Um, been contemplating on how to do the uh, actual change, if they're going to be inside of Unity or going to be here. Um, basically, I've been talking a lot about Croquetten and Bitterballen. If you don't know what those are, look them up. Um, <laughs> and um, putting some detailing in the blocks in the, that are on top of here um, yeah, creating these things moss covered poles that are here gonna have to create I think it's gonna be more dark I think it, um, I just decided that this is not gonna be a pillar that's gonna be here I'm gonna create like a darker wall so I'm gonna go a little back there you go. Um, I'm going to create a little more darkness there. Um, the hint of a wall, maybe with some detailing, like it will look like there's a pillar or something there. Uh, do that on both of the insides. And I will have to change this inside because it doesn't look like I want it to. It's too, too angled. It has to be more up. Um, yeah, and then basically I think I'm going to be ready to put this into Unity. Um, and from that I will start to create other things um, and probably revisit this stuff later to make it more detailed, better, uh, looking nicer. What I did do here is create separate layers for the right part and uh, then it was for the right part, uh, for the left part before, because before everything was in the left layers. Uh, so that is also changed now. Um, yeah, and I'm getting ready for more detailing. Um, that's what I've been doing. A lot of talking, actually. A lot of talking, which I like, by the way, because I can explain to you guys what I want to do and why I want to do it. Um, you are like my rubber duckies that I can talk to and uh, explain it basically also to myself. Because if you have a feel for what I want to make and you guys understand it, then basically I have a good feeling for it the game myself as well. Uh, that's very useful. Uh, how did your project go, the working on your project? Uh, did you make good progress? see what I still want to do. I've been streaming for about two hours now, more or less getting to my tax basically. I've, I've found that if I am streaming for two hours or longer, I'm starting to lose my focus and it's getting harder to make the things that I want to make. Just don't want to cut you guys off. I'm really happy uh, streaming with you guys here. Uh, makes for me a, a lot of difference if guys are, uh, if people are here. Um, feel much more interactive and interactive is nice. 
So, yeah, I also noticed that I forgot an entire line of highlighting in my brick wall on the left. <laughs> Fortunately, I did do it on the right, but I had to fix that. <laughs> Experimenting stuff with Jet GPT. It works pretty well, but also doesn't work at all. Yeah, that's uh, welcome to the world of C Sharp. Sometimes you have something that works, but it also makes things a mess. Um, fortunately for me, I know where to look if it doesn't work in C Sharp. I also use Chat GPT. I'm not a saint. Uh, I know a lot of things myself. Um, but what I really use it for basically is to bounce my ideas off of it. Because uh, Basically, ChatGPT has become the Google that I used before. Uh, and I think the best programmers don't think of things themselves. They use what's already there. Um, ChatGPT helps me quicker to get my idea um, basically confirmed. So I have an idea of how I want to solve something. Then I will ask the question to ChatGPT to see what it will come up with. Because I know most of the times it's full of errors. Um, still has things that don't work the way you intended it. Uh, uses a rigid body normal, like uh, instead of a rigid body 2D when you need it. Stuff like that that you have to fix, but you have to know where to where to look basically to be able to fix it. Um, we had a discussion at work the other day where they were asking people what they thought about ChatGPT taking over, and there's a like a break on AI and everything. And I think it's I think it's not needed. A break on AI will not make the difference. I think what is the difference is that people need to learn how to use it. Um, people who are afraid of their jobs because of AI, like ChatGPT and MidJourney. Uh, no, I've been still on 3.5 or I, maybe even 3. I, I don't have a, a paid account. I don't, I don't pay for the ChatGPT yet. So I know that ChatGPT 4 is much more elaborate and gives better answers. Um, but still also the the not paid version you can have perfectly fine answers if you have the correct questions and that was also with Google before if you don't know what to ask for then you just don't get the correct answer uh, and I guess that also makes it harder to get the correct answer from chat GPT if you're not a programmer because you don't know what to ask for you don't know what you really need you, you, you can give a ChatGPT a question that you want a certain mechanic to be made, but if you don't know what you're looking for, then you can also not evaluate if that answer that is being given to you, if it's correct or not, or if it's in the correct direction that you want to go. Um, so I was in the discussion with some of my colleagues, and some of them are afraid of their job. Um, but I don't think you should. Um, also artists, by the way, because uh, basically, the only thing that things like Midjourney can do is what has already been made and mix it together. Of course, artists sometimes do the same because nobody can uh, can f figure out to make a Mona Lisa twice. You know, the Mona Lisa has been done once. Somebody thought of that and it's beautiful. And then the next one will always have to do something different, maybe based on the Mona Lisa or use parts that are something that inspired him to make his own work. The same is happening now with Mid Journey. And I think the be best artists will also learn a way to have Mid Journey um, or outsmart Mid Journey basically and make their own artwork that is being used again by Mid Journey. And maybe they will be afraid of their art being used. I get that because it's just being used without licensing or anything. But yeah, that, I mean, things like that have been happening all, all the time, you know, because if you put art on the internet, even if you have watermarks or whatever you can have in there, somebody will try to copy it or make it their own. And that's fine. I mean, I look at arts from other people all the time and if I want to make a drawbridge and maybe somebody already did that then why would I think of it myself I can use that as a an idea to build my own on however 
there was no good image of a drawbridge in pixel art so i had to do this from photographs um i think i'm getting there it's not perfect yet but uh, I, I think that is that is the thing no artificial intelligence is not gonna replace us it's gonna make it tougher for the people who don't have their own way of doing things and the code that it writes is good but not perfect um, coders that write perfect code also don't exist but we have to learn a way on uh, making things better so that chat gpt can learn from it yeah of course you have to get your inspiration from somewhere uh, you can you get your inspiration from a photograph you get your inspiration from another painting you get your inspiration from another piece of code that has been written and the only thing that is different is that those ai parts they combine what you have to do yourself so it's a faster way of getting to the kind of results that you want to have and still i don't see an ai a mid journey or something create my parallax backgrounds in several layers it doesn't do that it just gives you one flat image and you still have to do the work yourself to make that different um, i think anyone who's good at their trade whether it be a programmer whether it be an artist and of course everybody can have a different opinion about that if you're good at your trade you don't need to be afraid if you're mediocre you might have to be afraid but yeah that's just my opinion <clears throat> and I don't think anybody uh, in the end will be without using artificial intelligence artificial intelligence will be the new Google what I did in Google before and I always did that as a programmer because yeah reinvent the wheel why the heck would I there's other people who did this so somebody did this I just need to find the most efficient way to get to the code that I need and if that is chat GPT, then I will use chat GPT. If it's another way, I will use another way. And I think that's uh, that's the, the thing that distinguishes the one programmer from the other one, or the one artist from the other one, is the ability to find your results that you need and, and recognize that that is what you want. Um, like I just said, I think I'm on the tax of what I can do. Um, my mind starts to turn to mush after about two hours uh, doing the same. Even though this is ex extremely relaxing for me to do, um, there's a limit to how long I can do it. Uh, and I think two hours is enough. So I'm going to close this stream. And I'm very, very happy that you guys wanted to join me today. Uh, I hope you will do it again in another day. And uh, yeah, just want to say thank you for being here today. Catch you on the next one.